you're listening to the Dynamic Women podcast. Each week, you'll be inspired by our global community of women. They'll share with you tools and stories to help you be dynamic in every area of life. Here's your host, award-winning coach and the CEO and founder of Dynamic Women, Diane Rolston. today I'm going to talk about how to stand out I guess this is me standing out isn't it uh, and what I'm going to talk about today is how to stand out in you know like we have this crazy coronavirus time and you need to be thinking about how am I going to stand out how am I going to be different from everyone else um, how am I going to be an expert how am I going to position myself okay I'm going to share with you how you can come out of this time even stronger even better and ahead of other people, your competitors. Now, I, I, I have to tell you, competitors is just said because you are going to understand what I mean. But, uh, competitors, but I want you to believe that you actually have zero competitors. You have no one that is going to um, really be against you because you're unique and you are you. So let's go through this now. So what I'm talking about today is I'm going to talk about how you can stand out and be ahead at this time. Hello, everyone. Times have changed. And have you advanced at this time? Have you changed? Are you leveling up? Are you standing out from the crowd without it feeling overwhelming? That's the key thing. Without it feeling overwhelming or feeling hard. Because I really don't want that for you. I want you to be able to move ahead at this time without feeling that way. And so today I'm going to share more of the actions I took to gain expertise, to stand out for my competitors or just other people that are in my industry, and to increase my opportunities. So... The key thing is like, I want you to think about it in the coronavirus time we have, you know, everyone's saying, oh, you have an opportunity to learn a new language and gain a new skill and, and do all this crazy stuff. Well, in all honesty, I'm able to get less done because I have two little ones at home and maybe you have little ones at home too, or maybe you just like, you're finding it really hard right now, or maybe you have double the work because you're you know, you have to change the way you're doing it. Um, I know I've got um, some ladies who listen to this podcast and join me on my Facebook lives are in the beauty industry. They're in like the fitness industry. They're in relationship marketing. um, And so they're in different industries and some of them, they can't be doing anything right now, which is really sad. Like you can't be doing how you normally do your business because you can't touch people and you can't bring people together. And so a lot of the things you normally do, you can't do. But now is an opportunity to kind of come out of this stronger, wiser. And I don't expect you to go and learn a language. I don't expect you to learn how to bake from scratch. I don't expect you to read a billion books Especially if you have children at home or or you have to take care of family like aging parents or a sick loved one or maybe your spouse is in the front lines uh, dealing with things right now. But what you can do is choose to do something that is going to help you to move ahead. So I want you to think of like when we start networking again, what does networking look like for you? Like are you going out there and when you meet people, do you do this? Do you like boom, here's my business card. Like, do you, do you pass them a business card? And actually this is a cool quote card, um, that I use. And Hey, if you want one of my quote cards, why don't you let me know? Actually email info at dianerolson.com. If you want one of my quote cards, which is says read daily to inspire, motivate and re-energize yourself. And so there are 10 quotes to be dynamic or dianisms, as my clients say. Um, Kathy, my second year elite coaching member, will definitely know that that there are dianisms. So anyway, if you want one of those, uh, email info at dianerolson.com and um, someone on my team will take care of that, send that out to you. Okay, uh, so some of you are saying, you know, I don't even have business cards. But what happens is we go out and we start connecting with other people. And if you don't have business cards, then you're probably taking your phone and you're adding the details into your phone, right? That's more than likely what you're doing. And or you're adding each other on social. 
whatever platform you're on. But the thing is, it's the same as everybody else, right? You're doing the same as everyone else. But how? What, what do you do if you meet like the ideal client? Like the client above all clients. The client that you know will pay your highest rate, that will be long term, that will refer like other ideal clients to you. What happens when you meet them? What happens when you meet that person? How do you stand out from other people? That's the question that I want you to be thinking about. So you hand them a business card or you add them on social. But what are they going to do with that information now? What, what are they going to do with that? And considering I know that um, Kathy Fester listens to a lot of the stuff I do, um, and she's probably on right now, um, I'll mention that, you know, send out cards is a really great way to stand out. Um, that you can send a card to them afterwards. That's totally something that can happen. And another option is that you hand them something in that moment. You hand them something in that moment that is going to help you to stand out, that is going to position you as an expert, that is going to show that you are like the real deal. The real deal. Like someone who is an expert at what they do, who is working at a high, high level. It also helps you to have something that lives on. Yes, business cards can sit around, can sit on people's desks, but it's not sitting around in a way that's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited I have this business card from this person. That's not what they're thinking. Um, when you send a card, let me just see if this one's from Kathy. Uh, when you send a card, right, then yes, that sits around and that's awesome and people keep it and that's an amazing strategy for marketing. Um, and another strategy which I know a lot of my listeners um, are excited about because they're gonna be part of this. Could you imagine you meet someone and you think, yeah, maybe I wanna work with this person. Maybe when I have them do my hair and makeup, um, maybe I want them to, you know, I wanna join their, their movement studio. Maybe I want to sign up and work with them in their Seno car business or whatever it may be. I'm referring to people that are, are listening. Um, maybe I, maybe I want to work with them, but instead of just handing them the business card, imagine you handed them a book or imagine this was someone that you were talking to and then they handed you a book and they said, well, actually you can learn more about me by going to, um, I'm in this book. I'm, I'm a collaborative author. I'm on page, you know, whatever it may be. I'm on page 130. I'm secret number 23. Wow. Wow. They are now really going to take notice of you. And the benefit of handing someone a book is it is like a bigger business card. So if you would take your business card, so when you're in a collaborative book, you take your business card and you actually use it as a page marker in the part of the collaborative book that you're in. Boop. Okay, so it's marked in there where you are in the book and autograph that page so that they remember that it's you and you hand it to them as a gift. I'd love to give this to you. There's a little like what I shared about is XYZ, this message. And the cool thing is in a collaborative book, then your bio is there. Your contact information is there. Like how amazing. If someone handed you a book at an event and you felt that they were potentially someone that you would hire to work with, uh, and then they hand you this book, would you not read the piece? Yeah. So many times when I go to events and someone gives me an, a, a book, like let's say a conference or something, like I'm hanging out in my hotel room and now I have a book that maybe I'm going to start reading. And instantly I am reading something from the person that I met that is starting to build that relationship. Because oftentimes when you connect with someone, you connect once, right? And then the book means you're still connecting. And if you flag the page, they're more than likely to read your piece in it first. Plus, the book is sitting around. The book is sitting around and they're seeing it and they're thinking of you and they're thinking of you. I know that this happens with the cards that I receive. Um, like I think about Kathy Fester more because she sends me cards. I think of... Um, the other ladies who have sent me sent me cards, like um, Brenda Benham 
send me a card that says you make the world a better place. So I'm, I'm looking at that. I'm keeping it. How many times have you thrown away a business card? Be honest. Like how many times have you thrown away a business card? You get the information, you throw it away, right? Okay. How many times have you thrown away a book? Not every day, not every week. What do you do with books? you at least pass it on to someone else, which continues the ability for the person to get to know people. However, if you autograph the page that you're in, the story that you're in, right? If you autograph that and you autograph, because they're not going to rip the page out of the book, right? If, if you autograph that piece of the book, they're not going to rip that page out. But if you put their name on it, they are more likely to keep it. And if you write a personal message that is reflecting back to them, oh, here's a good thing. If you write a personal message and what you write is an acknowledgement for that person, oh my goodness, that's like giving them a word gift. That's so amazing. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like this one says, this one's from Danielle Benson, an author in the Dynamic Women Success Secrets book. This is the one I'm looking at right now. It says, thank you much for helping me um, to, and showing me to be dynamic. Uh, sorry, just special writing. Your love and enthusiasm support has keep, kept me, I don't know, something. I have to read another one. I can't read that one. <laughs> Let me see. Here. Women who've never been told you can are rising up to their potential because of you. Oh my gosh, like would I ever get rid of that? No, that's from Leah Cost. She does Build a Biz Kids. Women who, who have never been told you can are rising up to their potential because of you. Like how amazing is that? How amazing if you acknowledge what the person is doing in their business, in their life, and wrote that in the little forward piece that you that you put in your senior autograph. Also, another key tip, when you got a book, sign right here. Because if you sign this page, see how this page is blank? If you sign this page, they can rip that out and give it to someone else. But if you sign the inside cover, they're more likely to keep it. Now, why do we want them to keep it? So they refer to it, they, so they look at it, so they read it, so they think of you. When things are sitting around and people think of you, that's a good thing. That is such, such a good thing. So at this moment, I'm just gonna take a pause. I'm gonna um, see what are your biggest takeaways from what I've shared so far? What are your biggest takeaways? So you might be thinking, well, Diane, a business card costs pennies and a book, a book costs more. Yeah, well, if you're an author in a book, I hope you're getting wholesale copy pricing. So then that brings the price down. Also, what is the cost of a lead for you? If you were to give out 100 business cards, but get zero leads, zero leads from handing out business cards, and you were to hand out one book and you got a lead, which one is a better option for you? So maybe the book costs you $5. Maybe the book costs you $10. Depends if you're going color. Maybe the book costs you 20 because it's a bigger book. It's all color. It's hardcover. Still, is $20 lead worth it? Even if you were to have in profit from that client $20 a month for a year, for six months even. Like imagine, would that be worth it? Yes. If you knew that you could hand something that was $10 and then receive $20 every single month for the next year, would you do it? I hope so. If you knew that you could hand someone a book and that you could get $1,000, $2,000, $10,000. And so I think of it like when I hand someone a book and they're interested in having me speak, because I'm a professional speaker, that they are interested in having me speak, that could be a $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 payday, depending on what it is. Depending on if I can offer or not. Then when I go to that event, they already know I have a book. And so when I go and speak and they already know I have a book, they might buy books for all their people because now they've read it. Now they like it. Now they have it. Now they've touched it. Now they think their people would enjoy it. And this is also a benefit of being in a collaborative book. So my question for you at the beginning was, uh, times have changed. Have you, how have you advanced? How are you leveling up without it feeling hard or overwhelming? So let me talk about 
how to level up without it feeling hard or overwhelming, especially because I'm speaking about being in a collaborative book. So this is the um, collaborative book that I put out in 2019. It's called Dynamic Women's Success Secrets. And this book shares the story of 52 top thought leaders, experts, and dynamic women who are sharing stories and secrets on success. So these 52 women have the benefit of when I do get brought in for a speaking engagement that I am now sharing all about them. They also have the benefit of me speaking about them because I know more about them now. So for example, I've mentioned Kathy Fesser of Send Out Cards multiple times in this um, as I'm talking. She's in this book. She is a client of mine. So I am spreading the news of the women that are in this book. So do you think that you could advance, that you could level up, and that you could change in a positive way, stand out as an expert? Do you think you could do that if 52 other women, and because it's 51 plus me, 52 other women were sharing about you? For sure. Is that easy? Yes. Definitely not overwhelming. Super easy that other people do that for you. But then you're thinking, oh my gosh, but Diane, I have to write a piece for a book. That's hard. That's overwhelming. No, it's not. I'm not asking you to write a full book for yourself. A full book? You just write a piece in a book. You write the spread in the book. You bring your best message, your best set of secrets. And in doing that, you are going to have your one solid message be reaching more people. Is that a way you think you can gain some expertise? Stand out from competitors? Increase your opportunities? For sure. Let me show you. And actually, I'll tell you, this one is Success Secrets, but the next book is going to have a red cover. It's going to be gorgeous as well. Similar design, but red. And it will talk about uh, confidence. Confidence is the next book. And red, you know, confidence that just matches really well. So let me share you with you. So in a two-page spread, in a two-page spread, that's, that's what you have to give me. And then I do the rest. I put it all into the book. I edit it, format it, do all the layout, get the cover on it, get it set up where it's ready as a manuscript to be printed. I get the printer. I do all the social media posts for you. I provide with all the copy that you need for your emails, all the posters, everything done. Plug and play, you're in a book. And again, I told you, like, times have changed. Times have completely changed. And what I want for you is an opportunity to come out of this in the next year, in 2020, to be able to add, I am a published author, a published author to your bio. To be able to come out and stand apart from your competitors because when people are looking, oh, this person or this person, this person or this person, who do I work with? And if the only, like, if there's a difference... And the difference is that you're a published author and someone else isn't, that could raise you up. So many times I've had people hire me because they met me through a book. They got to know me through a book. Oh, yeah. So I, uh, I have to just say, Stephanie, um, Stephanie, she is, she is in the book. She just said, I'm so excited to be in the book. And what's really cool is Kathy Fester was in the last book. Kathy Fester is going to be in the next book. I also have another uh, dynamic woman, Nicole uh, Dumont, who is in the success book and is in, in the secrets book, sorry, confidence book. That's so amazing. I know I've got um, Chelsea on here right now watching as well. There's a bunch of you watching. Um, Karen is watching. Oh, Karen Cabell. She's going to be in the book. She owns Kalina Movement in North Vancouver, where I live. You can go in and do some great, like, Pilates and dance and all these other cool classes. So if you're thinking, oh, maybe I want to be in a book. Maybe I want to at least learn more about this opportunity. You can comment below or you can send me a DM or you can email me, Diana Uh I have a few spots left, but it's limited. It's limited to the number of women. And I already have half the book fields. I already have half the book that women have said I'm in. We also have different packages. Um, so you can do like the book 
and then uh, or you can do the book in the promo package with it which I know a bunch of women ha um, have done because they get to be in a podcast with me they get to be interviewed on my network um, and there are so many bonuses I should just do another video talking about all the bonuses uh, but just some of the key bonuses are if you're thinking like what do I even write about ah what do I write about don't worry I do a group strategy session so that you can figure out what you uh, want to write about so you can position yourself and I also talk about um, kind of how to use the book and how to get paid before the book even comes out all these wonderful things and you're gonna get a one-day mastermind with me and a bunch of other cool women and uh, you get the million dollar woman boot camp two-day work boot camp holy cow so if you just want to like no obligation you just want to learn the information and then make a decision for yourself if you want to be in it or not i want the women that are the right fit um and so if you think yeah maybe maybe i have something to say on confidence maybe i have something to say about confidence secrets and no matter what like i want to be in a book that's cool reach out to me um i've got a few spots left would love to to have a conversation just see if this is a fit for you so i'm gonna wrap wrap it up here um just last things you know, no matter what, think about how you can emerge from this time. Almost like we are in a cocoon because we're having to stay at home. When you emerge from this, how will you be better? How will you be more than you were before? And I don't mean that you have to change. You're amazing. But what are you going to do to set yourself apart? And if that for you is just like, I'm working on my mental health at this time, or I'm bonding more with my kids, or, you know, I just, I want to, um, I've been taking care of myself more. Great. That's going to help you in your business. Now, is that going to help you stand out, up level and all that? Well, that, that depends. It's not guaranteed, right? It depends on how you implement that, those things when you come out of this but I have an opportunity for you to plug and play. And so I just want to make sure that you know that. I have an opportunity for you to plug and play, to be an author, a published author, that is easy in the way that you don't have to figure out all the technology, you don't have to worry about all that stuff, that I guide you through this. So have a dynamic week, have an awesome time. And if you have a topic that you would like me to cover, please um, drop me a message or DM me. Uh, it can be an anonymous topic that I cover. And I love being able to serve you. Okay, take care, everyone. Thank you, Dynamic Women, for joining us today. Please hop on over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a review. Who do you know who needs to hear our message? We'd love it if you'd share our channel with your friends and family. If you're ready to be more dynamic, have more balance and more success, head over to www.dynamicwomenclub.com forward slash free gift for your key to success book. Stay dynamic.